All right, you're running your numbers. I made this worksheet up. I'll put the link up if you want. You guys can go to it, see this, and print it off and use it for yourself. But basically, your two cylinders, exhaust inlet. So I1, I2, I3, I4, E1, E2, E3, E4. And then you got your clearance. That's the valves checks we just ran the mediums and the existing and this is for each shim bucket so the medium for our inlet side that we're working on right now remember is the split between 0.15 to 0 0.20 which is 0.175 is what we want 0.175 one seven five. Then the existing. That's where we came out here. We got everything organized nicely. We got the inlet one, two, three, four shim buckets in there right now, and then the cam holders four, five, and six down here. Everything organized. So what we need to do now to figure out what shims or what shim sizes we need to replace to get everything into tolerance. I1 was 16, so that's good to go. We're not, I'm not changing that one. I2 was 18, that was good to go. I'm not changing that one. I3 at 23.23 millimeter, that's out of tolerance. So I need to go I3. This is my I3 bucket. I need to get this shim out. And get the shim out. Get these out. Maybe just to little try to get it in there. That little ear right there. It just sits over, pops out. Put the bucket back into I3. So I only need the shim. Now for this measurement. usually gets worn off and you can see there's the number numbers always go on the bottom so need a micrometer mm. Mm. okay that's zeroed we gotta get this measurement So we got, oh, you guys can't see, but it goes half to one, half to one, to one half to two, to 2.5, and then 3.0. So 2.5, 3.0, that's 2.8, or 0 0.280. That's what we got for our shim now. Damn. Sorry, my math is math. I'm write a friggin' decimal. 
zero is our shim. So I hope I'm not confusing you guys. Half to one, one and a half to two. 2.5 at three zero is 2.80. That's our shim size. Take this one out. Place it back into our I3 container. Now I got I4 container out because I4 was at 0 0.22, 0 0.22, which is at times. So once again, you got the dog ear. I usually use like a, a jewelry type jeweler's screwdriver, whatever you call it. It usually gets in there. Just work it a little bit. They fit tight, so. Finesse, shims out, put bucket back in I4, keep it organized. Okay. Now, get a measurement from my uh, micrometer on this. Five, one, one point five, two, two point five, twenty five, and twenty five. So two point five, twenty five is two point seven five. Okay. Now, put this back in the form. Now, if you can see on the bottom of this, we got shims to order. You got your inlets and your exhaust. So everything stays nice and neat, and you can work with what you need. In the inlet one was at 0.16, so that's good. Inlet 2.18, that's good, I'm not changing that. Inlet 3, we have 0.23, the medium we want to be at is 0.175, and that shim we just measured is 2.80. Now if you look at that other video, the equation I ran shows A equals B minus C plus D. A is the shim we want to order, Clearance is B, medium is D, is C, existing is D. So A we want to order, B minus C, then add that to D, gives you that. And it's right in order to how this is laid out. So we want to figure out A, we got 0.23 minus Point one sum five equals point zero five five plus two point eight zero equals two point eight five five or a two point nine shim. That's what we're gonna have to order when you go to pick out your sizes. They have they if they have a two point eight five shim then order it and it'll be balls on. You might have to come down to 2.85 2 flat or 2.90 or, you know, whatever the ordering dictates. But that's where we're at. Just to run our numbers again one more time. So, 0.23 minus 0.175 gives us 0 0.055 2.80 plus 55 2.855 and that's what we want to order 
4, inlet 3, inlet 4, finding out the shim. So we got our clearance was 0.22 minus our medium was 0.175, gives us 0 0.045. And we got so 0 0.045. 0.045. 2.75 is the existing. So I got 2.75 plus 0 0.045. And we want a 2.795 shim. 2.795 shim. That's the shim we want. That's how you run your equations and get your numbers. All right, so we need a 0.285. I'm going with 285 and a 2.795. I'm on 2.8. Those are the shims I got. I'm running it on that. So come back over. Got everything nice and organized. Start with the I4 one. I4. We've got a sh shim bucket, and then the shim that we're running. Now, something good to do, have your extra oil, coat this up, get everything nice and smooth in here, as well as the bucket to get some oil in there. Pop and you gotta make sure the seats real evenly because it will affect how your lobe is running over it. It's a tight fit, so just make sure like right there you get it on it real flush and even and it turns nicely. So I4 is done. Turning around to the bike and putting it in I-4. I-4. I usually, I don't think it really matters, but the little inlet thing there, I just stick that to the inside. There, so. I-4. Snuggly. Now I'm going to do the same thing with all right, shit. I4 is the other side. And these numbers, be careful. I'm going to do the same thing with I3 and put everything back. Be back to show you. I'm putting the cam back on. 